Hello, and welcome to the commentary track for The Secret of Faust. Um, this was my uh, last movie for 2015. Um, as you can see, it's filmed um, in my friend's house, because it's entirely my friend's house, actually, because we thought his location looks very good. And here is heavy-handedly heavy me showing that this is my Frankenstein movie. I, I don't know, I think I got really ambitious with uh, the uh, way the scenes are shot in this one. And in some places a bit too ambitious. But despite that, I'm very impressed with the way I the, the music kind of complements it and the way certain Hello, shots fade I'm into each other. So anyway, the this whole idea of a podcast um, yeah, was probably fact, unintentionally inspired from Tusk. I like the idea of a podcast being um, so luring Fred people the into Hamley by um, showing off enough. like or being skeptical Egypt, about the legends, really. So anyway, these idiots believe the occult has been conducting secret rituals down there. Ooh, get real, guys. That's what makes. Bit of foreshadowing for later that door. Next time. We may potentially have an interview from the famed Hamley Woods. Only time will tell. Symbolic angel. And the table where everything goes down. Now there's Jace also playing uh, the uh, Mask Men. I think he suits it, and I uh, created that voice, which is my voice, in Audacity. And that music um, is actually somewhat made by me from stitched for like a Frankenstein stitched together. Um, from different um, sources, um, like Transformers the movie, and a few bits and pieces from It Follows. I just found that movie and I really like the music and I think it would fit nicely with this very 80s gory moo movie, kind of. So I think it, I don't know, if, if, it sounds eerie, kind of slapdash, but I'm not a musician, I think it fits. Now I was looking for as the only picture I kind of have of, of the the three of us together. So, and and though it's silly, I think it suits it sometimes. Though over time my feeling towards it changes. Oh, are you Chris from Paranormal Cast? It's yeah, kind of funny because I'm letting Jason to his own home. Um, sorry about being late. I mean, there's lots of twists and turns in this village. I, it's hard to find your place. Uh, it's cool. C come on in. All right, thank you. Believe me. I've lived here my whole life. The horrible lighting in this scene just changes from time to time. It's well, we tried to match it as best we could, but it just, just wasn't possible. Um, Note to self, make sure you consistently know how to light your scene. If you want to have daylight like your scene, then don't shoot in the winter. a student at Miskatonic University, Miskatonic University, which is a reference to um, H.P. Lovecraft, yeah, well, and obviously this is very kind of shades of Reanimator. It's a lot drier than I thought it would be. Um, but these days, not too much. But I think it still works. And I turned around there, it's very dramatic. I, realize I mean, it's a lot drier in terms of composition, and I was kind of hoping it would probably be a bit more interesting, but ultimately, I think it's serviceable. Well, when that Jason kid went missing, the whole place really got a creepy vibe to it. It's like, there was tons And though I'm reading, down there because I can't the act for the love of me, but... It's really spooky. Um, I think it works somewhat. That's probably what the most of this commentary is going to be like. Acknowledging my flaws and being like, it's okay. Not great, but okay. So I just think this copy catcher come forward. What do you mean? It's right there in his books. 
he he knows everything. Even the police. I do like Faust. I think he's a very well-rounded character. Some unknown horror writer. Why you can both else? kind of see why you should like him he's and see why you shouldn't. Which is, I think, is even more of a shock as to when like, you kind of realize that, that is, even though he's and trying and to get the jump on the um, sounds like wild speculation to me, but it should be great. On his guest, um, don't take me like you know, this whole town you know what happens. You should have seen this movie by now. Just tucked away in the corners where no one ever sees them. You sound far more passionate about this than I thought. Sudden lighting change. Just knew someone who's missing down there. That's all. Oh, will you be willing to talk about that? Now this was the last thing I edited on Premiere Pro before my license expired, but this was, wasn't intentional, but like, I really like that shot. Just came through in the editing though. It's a reuse of a scene from Revival of Dracula, but in color. The good news is, I'm building something. Something to help me find out what's going on down there. What do you mean? Like, and I'm really glad I found that music. Um, I forgot the name of the artist, but it should be in the credit. No, something far stranger. But I'll explain in a bit. Would you be interested in a cup of tea? Um, yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay. Something really awesome about Jace's place is his um, kitchen set I found, which is all bright red, and I think it's like almost a bit too um, on the nose, but I couldn't resist myself. It's just all red. Danger. He's putting danger in the cup. You know, it never really does make sense why the door kind of opens, but hey, I don't know. What do we say to it all together? I just think it kind of works. Impressive, wouldn't you say? Impressive? That's hardly the word I would use. It's revolting. What are you making in there? Is it some kind of creature or what? Calm, calm down. Here, just have a drink. Of course, now you can see what happened to Paul from Revival of Dracula. Of course, he looks eerily similar to Jason from uh, The Handy Disappearances. I can never understand what she saw We filmed that scene so much that Jordan's back was aching so much. We kept messing up our lines, but all for the sake of a, of a variety of shots. What, like vampires? Exactly. You see, my theory is We used so much freaking blood, I ruined the surgeon's outfit, and um, we got some blood um, all over. Well, can we be able, we able to clear it up, though? Probably should have warned him, though. That blasted bandage would never come off. And these bits were filmed while Jordan was gone. It was all very slapdash. Not slapdash, but kind of like a Frankenstein project in bits and pieces. I'm sorry. I truly am. I like my first take, like but Jace had me do another one, and but that's what we used in the movie that. of this part. Maybe and I'm glad he did. Awkward movement, even though he's dead. Yeah, it's been a while since this movie came out, and I should have done a commentary sooner, but... Um, I've been without um, editing software for a year, and I'm lucky that uh, Jace had all these plastic bags around and that cute, funny skull. Well, excellent. <laughs> I bought that surgeon's outfit just to get it all dirty and blood. I wonder how much freaking blood we used in this movie. The children of what? You honestly think I came here just to talk to you? More allusions to a bigger plan, which is somewhat the there. The rules to find people like you, people who want to hurt my family. And that was so loud, Jordan's lines here. I had to keep him. I had to try so hard to get it down, just to get stop the audio from popping. Anybody with such a limited understanding of our science could create something so strong. <laughs> The 
the next movie is on the way, and um, Faust is uh, another character in it, actually. I loved you. Our tragic Faust character. I know he's me, but, like, he's not the main character in the next movie. But, there you go. And so should this man be in the next movie. You don't worry. Really That's Jace's mask. And a lot of the aesthetics of that character kind of came from him. Obviously it's played by him, but I only really had a vague outline of what I wanted at the end. And this is probably one of my favorite shots in the movie. It's me crouched down, um, practically lying on the road, filming him. Who now is exponentially in his regular body. Of course, it's meant to just be a random operative. Yes. Yes. This but it just looks so cool. I, I, I'm kind of cool, but... I, I don't know, I'm really impressed with the transitions and in combination with the music for all these. Really good. I big thank you to everybody involved in this movie, as always, especially um, Gigi and Jace. Couldn't have done it without you guys. So much fun. Yeah, so thanks for listening, everybody. Hopefully see you on the next movie.